In the previous video, we created a custom layout and we added in this top rated product custom text to display the rating. Now, WordPress won't display the rating if there are no ratings. So if I go to a product that doesn't have a rating, um, like the belt, then you'll see it's still displaying that custom content that we added, but there's no rating. So in order to add the rating, we just need to add a condition that says don't output this information if there isn't a rating. So to check um, what that condition is, I'm going to head over here to the website. And now what we're going to do is in that function that we created with the opening and closing um, wrap for the content, we're now going to add a condition. So it's not going to display this unless the product has a rating. So to get started, then the first thing I need to do is access the global variable product. And the reason for that is we want to get the product ID. So then we can go product ID equals and product get underscore ID. Right, so now we have the product ID and now we want to get the product information. So now we can go product equals w ski underscore get underscore product. So that'll get the product information and we want to get it for product underscore ID. Right, now we have the product information. What information do we want? We want the product rating and that will then be equal to product. And we'll just say get rating counts. Get rating counts. That'll give us, let us know if there are any rating counts. Then what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, if, if there is a product rating, so if there is a value in that field, then only then I put the wrap. So we now are going to copy that and paste that in the closing div as well. We just need to close those braces now. So there we have the um, the function complete. And now let's go and see how that works on the website. So let's just save that. And go to the website. And now refresh the page on the belt page. And it's gone. Will it work if there is a review? So I'm going to go to reviews. Give that a five-star review. Type in a comment. Submit. The review is in place. and you can see now that the information is being displayed. So that's how we can then set a condition to the content element to be displayed and that it only displays, um, in this case, the rating will then only display in this with this wrap if there is in fact a rating. Well, I hope you found that useful and thank you for watching.